A legend has walked off the court tonight, but Tamika Kenchings will never be forgotten. Ketchings and her squad dropped to Phoenix Mercury 89-78. Ketchings had her last double-double of her career with 13 points and 10 rebounds. The Phoenix Mercury looked to travel to New York to take on Tina Charles for another single elimination game. With Swish Appeal, I'm Danielle Bolowski. There are only two cupcake ATM machines in the entire world, and we have one right here in Chicago. The Flames just dropped to the Bulldogs with a devastating loss. Hayden Hughes missed a buzzer beater layup, leaving the score 61-59. Meanwhile, better news for Brandon Young, he did start against Seton Hall, but some of his other teammates did not. For some, the month of May means spring and flowers, but for some athletes, this month can possibly change their life. Former college football players will watch the NFL draft in suspense on May 8th. That's right, Cassandra. They're off to an amazing start. Yeah, this pans out considering college players are voluntarily trying to play, so we'll see how this goes. Well, they're definitely making history. Thank you, Danielle. Even though the Bulls are out of the playoffs, they still remain in the hot seat. With talks of Coach Thibodeau leaving, Carmelo Anthony coming, and MVP Derrick Rose returning to the lineup, the Bulls remain in the spotlight. At the United Center for Good Day to Paul, I'm Danielle Bolowski. Many of us are enjoying this beautiful weather outside, but unfortunately for the Chicago Blackhawks, they aren't. Many players right now are in the locker room at the United Center cleaning out their lockers after a devastating loss on Sunday against the LA Kings. At the United Center for Good Day DePaul, I'm Danielle Bolowski. That's right, Kip. The DePaul women's basketball team was on fire as they blew past Villanova. Three Blue Demons scored in double figures. Check it out. Paul's game plan tonight was set the pace of the game and have great energy. The Blue Demons did just that. Two minutes into the second quarter, Shanice Jenkins in the paint puts up a float over three defenders, DePaul up by six. Creighton trying to decrease the margin finds Maya Melman wide open in the corner on the fast break, drilling the three, 37-21 DePaul. Jessica January was just feeling herself tonight. January shoots over McGrory for a long two, 42-24. Third quarter, Creighton's rookie with the aggressive putback, 60-39 DePaul. DePaul just snapped Creighton's four-game winning streak, beating them 81-63. The Blue Demons look to carry on at their winning streak as they get ready for Providence. Tip-off is on Sunday at 2 p.m. here at the McGrath Center. With Swish Appeal, I'm Danielle Bolowski. Does an athlete's sexuality really affect the way he or she plays? Top athletes like Jason Collins, Wade Davis, and now Michael Sam prove that even though they might not fit in with their sexuality, they definitely fit in with their skills. I met up with some gay and straight athletes to get their thoughts on the movement of openly gay players. Senior track and field runner at DePaul University, Harold Alvarez, says he was torn and didn't know what to do. Uh, coming out was a little bit difficult for me, just because I was really unsure of how I wanted to come out. Being an athlete, I was really nervous. The world is changing and people are becoming more understanding and more accepting. And who knows, ladies, maybe this movement has opened more doors for us in the sporting world. For Good Day DePaul, I'm Danielle Bolowski. Prospect athletes like Johnny Menzel, Jadavian Clowney, and Khalil Mack showed off their skills in the 40-yard dash, the broad jump, and shuttle drills. Lawrence Holmes from 670 The Score has high hopes for some special talent this year. Uh, Jadavian Clowney. So I'm really looking forward to him. I hope that the Bears draft Calvin Pryor. Was there anything special being said during the halftime that made you guys come out on such like a huge spark for the third quarter? I just tell them that you got to keep, keep it up, you know, don't give them no confidence because they really... I'm here with quarterback Anthony Iannotti. Coach said in the beginning of the game that he wanted to start fast and finish faster. Explain the pace that you have in your team now and what more you have to do to get faster going. Uh, you know, uh, the start of the game didn't really go the way we wanted to offensively. Uh, you know, we shot ourselves in the foot there a couple times. Ayanati, you guys are going up against the third ranked team in the CIF. Explain how big this second half is going to be for you guys. Oh, it's huge. We had a great first quarter. Second and third quarter didn't see too much. And then the fourth quarter we had some quick end of the, end of the game touchdowns. What made it so difficult for us to score today? Well, you know, uh, we had a situation in the first quarter where we were running with this football team. We're going to go down to Danielle Bielowski. She's with Anthony Hughes. Hey, guys, I'm here with defensive back Anthony Hughes. Anthony, you had an uh, interception early in the first quarter. That's your third one this season. Explain what you're seeing out there on the field. Well, the route's kind of coming to me, you know, uh, but we, uh, we actually have to do better defensively. As the first game as head coach, um, you did pretty well with the drives on offense and defense at three interceptions. What worked so well for you and what didn't work well for you today? Well, it, we ran the ball really well. Uh, I, I thought the only thing that saves me is football. Eagles defensive back Anthony Hughes grew up in one of the most violent cities in Chicago. Inglewood. Uh, every day could be a challenge depending on where you're headed to, uh, what neighborhood you're in. Unless you're at your home, 
That's the only time that you feel like you're 100% safe, but other than that... Anthony Hughes feared his life many times when going from 63rd in Perry to 103rd in Elizabeth, which resulted in him cutting class and his grades dropped dramatically. Hughes was featured on ESPN's top high school recruits, and D1 offers started flowing in. I was honored to play a few years with Anthony Fresh. He it took me a while to get to where I am right now, just because of my grades. I was looked at as one of the top players in, in, in high school. April 9th is coming up and we just invited them to the game. How does it feel to know that at least 20 kids are coming in to cheer you on and how ready are you for game day? That just, that just pushes my fire, you know, like I already was excited for this upcoming season and every game.